you're losing tracking and you don't even know it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to correct that. We'll start by simply making sure all the settings are correct, the exposure, the distance from the scanner. I'll close the RGB window since I won't be doing a color scan. I'll go ahead and just start the scan here. This is running in a future mode. So it's just going to be looking at the item itself as it rotates around to gather the position. As you can see, you can see the writing on top as it spins around. I'll just go ahead and let this scan. And as you can see, it's almost done. And right about now it's done. So I'll pause it and then click the complete button. And here you can see this is just the raw data of the point cloud, but it hasn't been fused yet. So it's still just raw data. We'll fuse it to the advanced settings at a 0 0.2. I'll speed through all the processing. And as you can see, it looks pretty smooth. This is still just a point cloud though. We'll do the isolation, which really gets rid of points that are not part of the center. Overlap gets rid of points that are overlapping on the model itself, which here there wasn't any. I'll just move on to meshing the model. This is where you get your STL or OBJ file. I'll do a quality of five. And that's finished processing. But as you can see, you can't really make out the text. The sides look fine, just the text doesn't look that good. It looks like it may have lost some quality, but that's not exactly what happened. We'll rescan it, but this time we're going to use the marker mode for tracking. And as you can see in the preview, you can see the text. So why didn't it happen when you mesh the model? And you'll find out why in a second. Using all the same settings from before. And it's just about finished. I'll go ahead and pause it, then click the complete. And as you can see, this one actually looks a little bit better right away. But we'll go ahead and fuse the point cloud, same settings as before. And that's finished. So now we'll do the isolation. This is where you would actually use the tool to get rid of these random points. Well, they're not random points. They are the markers. And right here, you can use the lasso tool just to kind of trim it up. Sometimes it can be a little hard doing with the mouse. Most of the time I do it with the pen on my laptop, this touchscreen. But sometimes if you can't get in there and get it, there's another way of getting it by rotating the model. I'll show you in a second. And then you can use the lasso tool like this to get that straight line and just kind of trim it like that. For this test, it's not important to get anything clean on the bottom. So I'll just skip over that. We'll go to meshing the model. Again, we'll do it at a five. And that finished. And as you can see, you're able to read the text. So how can you're not able to read the text on the first model? That's mainly because it lost tracking. And what ended up happening is even though the sides look fine, the top part just kept stacking on top of each other. So what you ended up with was a model that looks okay and is mostly there, but the text wasn't readable because all it did is kept duplicating itself as it went around, but it looked like it tracked fine. This right here is another method of using 
an extra item to track. And I'll just go ahead and let this scan. But the main point of this is just showing that if you scan the item incorrectly and you lost tracking, even though it doesn't look like it lost tracking, you can severely lower the quality of the scan itself. Okay, and this one finished here. So I'll just kind of speed through this, but it's pretty much the same settings as used before. Just to go ahead and fuse the point cloud, meshing the model. And as you can see right away, you can read the text. And you have this little piece at the bottom that was there. But this is very easy to get rid of with the lasso tool. Go ahead and mesh it the same way at 5.0. And there you have it, two ways of tracking a model. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more.